Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's, everyone's having a good weekend. Uh, guys, I've got some horrible news. I've got some really, really horrible news. Um, last night uh, when I was, you know, I came back from work and was tired, went to sleep, got up, went on my Twitter and I saw a tweet from Mike Coppinger. And the tweet said that the Errol Spence fight and... Terence Crawford fight is in jeopardy. Now, this is a fight which there's been a lot of back and forth. You know, there's been people accusing Crawford of ducking, Spence of ducking. Um, there's been, uh, you know, there's been said that the fight's agreed. Uh, and then the fight's, oh, it's in jeopardy. And we don't know what's going on. And it's very frustrating because it's a fight that we wanted for a very long time. It's one of the best fights in boxing that can be made. It's the best fight in boxing, without a shadow of doubt. I mean, I think they're two of the best fighters in the sport. I don't think there's any division that has two closely matched fighters like that. Uh, that are pound for pound stars that are undefeated. Uh, I think it's the best matchup in boxing. It might not be financially the biggest, but it definitely is the best uh, match in boxing. Best fight in boxing that can be made. Um... Um, but it's quite clear at this point that who's the problem. It's quite clear at this point who's avoiding this fight. And it's quite clear, you know, I, I've i always said that, look, Terence Crawford is, is, a, is a warrior. Terence Crawford is somebody that would fight anybody. And that's been proven. I mean, Terence Crawford really wants this fight. It's Errol Spence that's avoiding this fight. Steven. I want to know your opinion. Your 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 man is stuck in this fight. You know, I know you're a big Errol Spence fan, but he's avoiding this fight. I mean, it's quite clear. It's black and white now. I mean, this is this is a guy in Terence Crawford who has accepted no taking, no guarantee. This is no. This is being reported by people that report. I mean, credible news. No, 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 no. You know, Mike Coppinger knows his stuff. Right. Terence Crawford has accepted no guarantee, has taken a smaller split. Right. But all he wants is transparency to see the expenses. And they're not giving him that. This is a duck. From Errol Spence's team of the highest proportion. I mean, it's embarrassing. Terence Crawford is give is, is basically doing everything to make this fight. Errol Spence doesn't believe he can beat Terence Crawford. Simple as that. I don't care what Steven says. I don't care what any Errol Spence fan. He doesn't want this fight. He doesn't want this fight. I mean, it's quite clear. If, if you can't look, for me, I've always been somebody that calls it how it is. I always call it how it is, right? Terence Crawford wants this fight badly. He's willing to jump through hoops. And he shouldn't be having to, he shouldn't be having to. Errol Spence ain't no Canelo. Errol Spence ain't no. Floyd Mayweather, he, Terence Crawford shouldn't be having to jump through hoops for to make this fight, but he is because he wants this fight and he believes he smashes Errol Spence to pieces. That's why. Terence Crawford shouldn't have to jump through hoops because Errol Spence isn't no mega star by any stretch of the imagination. I don't care if Errol Spence has done slightly better pay-per-view numbers. He's not that big a star. He's no Floyd Mayweather. If it was Floyd Mayweather, I can understand. But Ter Errol Spence is making Terence Crawford jump through hoops and he shouldn't be having to. And it's Errol Spence... That's avoiding this fight, in my opinion. It's quite clear. You know, what's being reported, what's out there, we can all see. We can all see. Um, it's embarrassing. You know, for me, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think, you know, people the, on Max on Boxing, they criticise Al Heyman. Uh, I don't think it's Al Heyman. I think it's, it's Errol Spence. I mean, Errol Spence thinks he's a big fish. He's been saying it for a very long time. I think I'm a big fish. You know, he, he, he you know, Errol Spence thinks he's, you know, he's, he's wearing shoes that are too big for him, really. You know, he, I, I just think Errol Spence uh, thinks he's bigger than what he is. Um, and he's trying to bully Crawford uh, into s signing a deal which is just so favourable to Errol Spence. I mean, it's pretty embarrassing at this point. Even Anthony Joshua, who's got three losses. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Anthony Joshua commercially is a much bigger star than Terence Crawford. Uh, but, and the, but the fact is that he's got three losses. You know, uh, Tyson Fury is offering him a 60-40 split. You know? 
I don't even know what split. Like Crawford's not even taking a guarantee, man. He's not even taking a guarantee, and he's and he's taking a smaller split. So his whole revenue will be based on the pay per view, and they're not even telling him. They're not even giving him the transparency of the. I mean, it's uh, it's yeah, it's clearly a duck. It's clearly a duck. They don't want. I don't think they want it. I think maybe Al Heyman and PBC are getting uh, Thurman ready for a fight with Errol Spence. But Errol Spence's legacy. If he doesn't fight Terence Crawford, um, I think the fight will happen. But I think Errol Spence is going to try getting everything in his favor. I mean, I think he's going to try. Uh, effectively, they are pulling Crawford's pants down. I mean, they're, they're trying to get everything in their favor and they're trying to be bullies. I mean, try trying to be a bully, man. You know, and uh, I feel bad for Crawford because Crawford is just a guy that wants to fight. You know, and Stephen, Errol Spence is, is, is clearly avoiding this fight at this point. You know, um, to act the way he's acting, I mean... If Errol Spence was the guy doing a million pay-per-view buys, I could understand. I mean, at this point, I think it's pretty obvious that who doesn't want this fight. And look, a lot of you have said on my channel, you think Errol Spence beats Terence Crawford. Some of you think Crawford wins. But at the end of the day, all I'm going to say, guys, let's call it how it is. Errol, at this point, it's quite clear he doesn't want this smoke. With Terence Crawford. For whatever reason. Maybe he knows that the Terence Crawford fight is a hard fight. And a tough fight. And a difficult fight. So he wants to cash in. Um, in case he loses. Um, but yeah. It's pretty obvious. To see that. You know. Why this fight isn't happening. And whose fault it is. Whose side is the problem. I think it's quite easy to see. I think even if you're an Errol Spence fan. It's quite easy to see. They're literally ripping Crawford off. I mean. The guy's not having no guarantee. He's taking the smaller end of the stick uh, split. Uh, he's basically, um, they don't want him to know anything. They want him to have no, they, they want that him to know nothing about the show, about the expenses. There's no transparency. They're not being transparent to Crawford. Uh, so effectively, they just want to rip him off. I mean, in, in a fight of that magnitude, I mean, I think Terence Crawford, with what he's achieved in the game, uh, three division world champion, a former undisputed world champion. I think he deserves a little bit more respect than that from Errol Spence and and their camp, you know. But uh, the fact that I think Errol um, Terence Crawford is having to jump through hoops and he has jumped through hoops, but I think it's getting to the point where they're literally trying to um, embarrass Crawford. I mean, Crawford said that he wouldn't take anything less than fifty fifty. He, he he basically put his ego to one side because Crawford in his head feels that he's more accomplished than Errol Spence and he is more accomplished than Errol Spence. People go on about Errol Spence's resume. People need to stop acting like Errol Spence has got a resume like Muhammad Ali, like he's beaten George Foreman in his prime. He's beaten, uh, you know, um, Joe Fraser in his prime or he's beaten Sonny Liston in his prime. I mean, Errol Spence's resume is, yeah, slightly better than Crawford's, but it's not nothing special. I mean, you know, he ain't got no Floyd Mayweather resume. I mean, he beat a Kell Brook that was already coming off of an a, a, a eye socket, a broken eye socket. He beat a Sean Porter who had already been beat before uh, by, you know, a few guys and had a few lucky decisions. I mean, and he had and he struggled in that fight against Sean Porter. Uh, and then he, um, I mean, he beat a washed up Lamont Peterson. He beat a lightweight Mikey Garcia. He beat a Danny Garcia that was probably fading a little bit. I mean, it's hardly, it's hardly like he's beaten, you know, guys killers in their prime i mean who's he really i mean you know when you think about it kel brook was in his prime but he was smashed up the fight before you know sean porter yeah that was probably his best win danny garcia i think he was kind of sliding past it at that point um you know so you know lamont peterson was washed up you know uh, garcia was a lightweight you know so let, let's be real about it it's not like errol spencer's got a muhammad ali type resume i mean He's he's got a good resume, nothing out of this world. I mean, and and for him to kind of just like trying to bully Crawford like Crawford's a nobody. I mean, I think it's pretty. I think it's. I think I think he's the one that's holding up the fight. I think it's quite clear to see. I always felt that Errol Spence was the one that was holding up the fight, and I've always made videos saying that that I think Errol Spence probably needs to, you know, in my opinion, maybe put his ego to one side because Crawford's done that, and I think Crawford's you know, jumping through hoops to make the fight. But I think it cuts to a point where you think, okay, this guy's just like, I'm jumping through hoops and hoops and he's putting more hoops. He's putting more hoops. When is this ever going to end? You know, uh, and I think Crawford's probably taking a stance at this point. You know, um, 
it, it's a sad state of affairs as far as I'm concerned. But it's a fight that we wanted to see. Uh, they're talking about it. it's not going to happen in November now. It's probably going to be December, January. I'm starting to doubt whether this fight happens at all. Uh, because I, I just think that Errol Spence is putting more and more demands on, on it. So uh, I don't know. Leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.